Isaiah chapter 1, I'll read the uh, first 20 verses. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, when he, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children I have reared and brought up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you still be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but bruises and sores and raw wounds. They are not pressed out or bound up or softened with oil. Your country lies desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. In your presence, foreigners devour your land. It is desolate and overgrown by foreigners. And the daughter of Zion is left like a booth in a vineyard, like a lodge in a cucumber field, like a besieged city. The Lord of hosts had not left us a few survivors. We should have been like Sodom and become like Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the teaching of our God, you people of Gomorrah. What to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I've had enough of burnt offerings, of rams, and the fat of well-fed beasts. I do not del delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who is required of you this trampling of my courts? Bring no more vain offerings. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and the calling of convocations. I cannot endure iniquity and solemn assembly. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. They become a burden to me. I am weary of hearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you t make many prayers, I will not hasten. I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall become like wool. If you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be eaten by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken." Uh, well, that's the beginning of Isaiah, uh, one of the uh, major prophets, so-called, in uh, the Old Testament. And um, Isaiah is, as he says right at the beginning, prophesying across the reign of a number of kings, uh, significant kings in Israel's history, particularly Uzziah. And uh, in chapter 6, you'll remember the, the vision of the Lord high and lifted up, this vision of the temple uh, that Isaiah happens that uh, has that happens uh, in the year that Uzziah uh, dies. And uh, Uzziah had uh, there had been a long and prosperous uh, uh, reign and kind of uh, settled. And then we enter into a period of uh, turmoil, uh, really. And uh, won't go into the details too much, but what, what we need to know to understand the book is that um, the nation has sort of uh, been, uh, well, the nation's been split in two, Israel in the north, Judah in the south. Uh, and uh, Israel's gone into, uh, or I I Israel has sort of turned away from the Lord. Judah's under immense pressure from Israel, from Damascus. And um, under Hezekiah, they'd made um, an alliance, uh, sorry, before Hezekiah, they made an alliance with uh, Assyria to protect themselves against Israel. But under Hezekiah, they'd uh, broken that yoke. Um, against the Assyrians and what had happened is as Isaiah tells us in verse 7 the country lies desolate so because uh, Hezekiah had resisted um, uh, Assyria uh, the whole land is, is desolate apart from Jerusalem Jerusalem has held out um, and verse 8 says like a booth in a vineyard okay so this is a time of real pressure and one of the things that Isaiah uh, deals with this in this book is who uh, will God's people trust? Will they trust the nations around them to protect them from other nations? Or will they uh, will they trust in God uh, himself? And uh, in this first um, uh, 
chapter, we get the picture of a sinful nation who are uh, rebelling against God in uh, verses 1 to 4, and so are under God's judgment in uh, 5 to 9. And uh, we see uh, verse 9, if the Lord of hosts had not left us a few survivors, we would have been like Sodom or Gomorrah. Uh, the explanation for this is not just the, the, um, uh, uh, the actions of the nations around them. No, it is, uh, it is Israel's uh, sin. And then in verses 10 to 17, uh, we get the idea that Israel sort of tried to fix the problems that they were facing by, by religion, but it was corrupt religion. It was just... Uh, it was just doing the sacrifices, but not having a heart uh, that was actually uh, in line with God. And so God says he refuses. He even hates their sacrifices. Verse 14, your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hates. I am weary of them. Uh, and verse 15, I'll not listen uh, because your hands are full of blood. They have not kept uh, the law. They have not been uh, just and righteous to one another. And so he does. He refuses their uh, their sacrifices, and yet you get this wonderful call, the famous call in verses eighteen to twenty. Come, let us reason to, uh, together. Though your sins are like scarlet, uh, they shall be white as snow. Though they're red as crimson, uh, they should be like wool. If you turn back to me, I will wipe your sins uh, away. And so, uh, the end of the chapter, verses twenty-one to thirty-one, we get this idea of reversal. Jerusalem, verse 21, the faithful city, well, she's become a, a, a harlot or a whore. She who was full of justice is now full of, of murderers. Okay, and then um, a verse, because of that, verse 25, I will turn my hand against you. I will smelt away your dross and I will remove all your alloy. And then uh, this great reversal, verse 26, I will restore your judges as at the first, your counselors at the beginning, and afterward, you will be known as the uh, the city of righteousness, the faithful uh, city. And so, positively, verse twenty seven, Zion will be redeemed by uh, by justice; those who repent by righteousness. Verse twenty eight, negatively, those who refuse will be broken altogether, and those who forsake the Lord uh, shall be uh, consumed. And then it talks about uh, the uh, the wrath that will fall on them. So this picture, this uh, chapter, really uh, uh, speaking to to uh, Jerusalem, explaining to Jerusalem, this is why the, the the way things are. It's not pure. It's not kind of because you re rebelled against Assyria. That that's the kind of human explanation. No, the real e uh, explanation is you have turned away from me, and so turn back to me, and I will restore you. I will change you from being a, a faithless city to a righteous city. And so hopefully you can see how uh, in this address to, uh, to Judah and Jerusalem, uh, we have the pattern for the gospel and we'll see that throughout the book of Isaiah. Uh, it, you know, it's been called the, the fifth gospel. It's been called the gospel of the Old Testament. Uh, we'll see uh, there's so much gospel in this uh, book. And here, uh, that verse that I, that I read, um, if you come, let us reason together. Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Uh, here Isaiah makes the call. Uh, the call is amplified in the New Testament by the Lord Jesus, that if we turn to him, we might be like uh, Israel, like Judah. We might be uh, faithless. Uh, we might be uh, far from God. But if we turn back to him, our sins will be wonderfully wiped away. Our sins that are uh, scarlet will be white as snow. Uh, let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for uh, the book of Isaiah and we thank you for this uh, uh, beginning uh, calling on Judah to turn uh, uh, back to you and have their sins wiped out. And we thank you that we hear that call today and we know that it's only uh, through trusting in you that we can have our sins uh, wiped out. Please, would we keep short accounts with you and uh, would look to only the, the cleansing of the Lord Jesus, not our own kind of religious activity, but only what Jesus has done to make us right with you. And we thank and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.